shown a bit of a update of the hobby what I've been doing uh, I have been working on some Blood Bowl Skaven I know it's pretty darker let me see if I can get it here um, Skaven Blood Bowl team but first I have to really tidy up my hobby desk I gave it a, a recent clean up I moved everything over to the corner over here nice and tidy but there's still too much space getting taken up here um, so what I've done is I got one of these storage towers and I want to see what I can fit into there and I got this little kind of wooden box that what Martin got for Christmas <laughs> so I'm just going to eat all these music stuff was in that but I'm going to be using it now so I was thinking about taking all these pants down off the wall because they're pretty much everywhere like once I take them down off there they don't go back up so I'm going to be moving all these and all these pants into this box um, tidying up here see what I can rearrange with these into the storage tower um, and then there's like there's loads of stuff under here as well that has to be gone through so uh, yeah so I got this cool little speaker off Lindsay for Christmas so that's going to keep me bopping away here to some punk music um, as I tidy up so stay tuned um, I'll tidy all this up sort everything out get the camera back on and then I'll show you what I've been working on over the last few days so stay tuned so my desk is finally starting to look a little bit cleaner and um, what I did was I took all the pants down well the only ones that are left here are the foundation pants because you can't see the colours from the top um, or any of the technical pants I just left them up here as well as long with some shades and some spare ones um, and what I did was like I said I put them all into this box which I think it works um, because I'm not going to leave all them up on the shelf every time I take them down um, but they usually end up staying on the desk for a little while and then when I get fed up I'll do a clean up and put them back up so at least I can just put them all in this box now and I can see everything uh, all the colours from the top um, and since it's like right next to the window I don't want the sun blaring in on it so what I'm going to be doing is just leave my cutting mat over when I've finished and just push it under there so the sun won't do anything to the paint on me um, geez I'm trying to think what I did now it doesn't really look that much different but I swear I did do some tidying up anything that's here is like I have like a little little box full of bits that I use all the time like my hobby stuff like knives and all uh, any models here or ones that I'm currently working on or I'm wanting to work on next there's the blood ball players which I'll be looking at in a few minutes and the tower I ended up I couldn't find a spot for the tower because I know eventually I'll probably get another one so I can stack it up too high and um, I can't put it under over there like under the shelf because I have my whiteboard I need to stand there with that didn't really want to put it under the desk so I think just right here is fine I won't be able to stack it too high here because the sockets are behind it but I'll deal with that when it comes when the time comes so what I did was basically I put all these I have all my models and stuff like that uh, well most of them in tubs like this so I just kind of stacked all them in there filled it all up the bottom tray um, and they're all kind of ones that I don't really need to do anything with for now so they're so I can close this so they're happy enough in there now uh, same with this tray but this one has kind of a few more ones that I'll be working on sooner like the Blood Bowl teams um, I want to finish off my Stormcast Eternals and some scale and stuff in there as well this one here the second last one is all kind of hobby stuff um, I have all my bits boxes in here a um, little box of sand uh, Basin material and what is there? Uh, what's that stuff called? Core cord for the bases, that's what it is. And nail polish remover for shipping paint, my spray paint, so anything like that is going to be going in here. Um, all neat and tidy and off anyway. And then the final tray, this is the one that will be everything that I'm wanting to work on in the near future, so the kind of the most relevant stuff. And so I have my box of Skaven Clan Rats that I have to still have to get through. A uh, box of, it says Blood Reavers, but it's not Blood Reavers, it's, uh, what are these guys called? Plague Monks that I just got off of eBay, so I have to do an eBay loop video for them. 
and um, my Skate and Blood Bowl team that I'm currently working on now. And then the other three boxes in here are the Space Marines. Uh, the two Space Marine boxes that I got off eBay a while ago. The Command Set and the Commander. And the Imperial Space Marine special model that Nick Bear gave to me. They're all going to be getting done soon because I want to do the Space Marines from... Uh, what's that box I have? Uh, 40k box, or the 30k one. And so on with all the Space Marines. And the Horus Heresy box. So yeah, that's it. So let's have a look at these uh, Blood Bowl players. So I finally got a chance to start working on the two, or the Skaven Blight Scrambler team. Uh, I started on the two linemen first. I'm probably going to do two or three at a time. I have two started and I have one guy just uh, waiting to get primed. But I stuck with the colour scheme that's on the box. This is the Skaven Blight, Skaven, <laughs> it's going to be a hard word to say. Skaven Blight Scrambler's colours. Um, the red, some red cloth uh, with the green markings on it as well. Uh, this is just the base coat with the wash and a, just like some little highlights of the grey on the on the cloth on the bottom that I've started. But the rest of it is still just highlighted, highlighting and tidying up to be left on it as well as the base. Um, yeah, I'm really happy how this guy turned out. Well, the two of them, two of them are almost identical. Um, I'm happy I only did two because. Um, I was kind of following the paint splatter that was with White Dwarf um, and I kind of there's a few things I wish I had started first like I wish I had kind of had done the skin first instead of the metal that would have been easier on the head uh, but the rest of it is pretty much straightforward it's pretty easy I really like these models are really um, they're really well designed they look great uh, plenty of cool little things on them the one thing that I'm really looking forward to painting is um, where are the guys up here? So you can see them, the gutter runner up there. I'm really looking forward to painting them. You get two of them. Uh, they're my favourite out of the whole box. I think they're awesome. Uh, and then the other line man that still has to be based and uh, or yeah, base coated and started. So I'll start him pretty soon, and I'll probably do another one along with him. I need to get some more of these corks to put on it. I'm only have three here. Uh, I need to find another couple more around, around the house somewhere. When when you're looking for them, you can never find the bloody things. But, um, yeah. So, that's it um, for this video. Hopefully, you guys like the clean up of the hobby desk. It's a lot more... Let me see if I can hold it with this. Um, there's a lot more space. Um, like, I know every hobby desk gets cluttered eventually. And it just needs to clean up every now and again. Um, but the way it's organized now it's super handy there's not just like all boxes stacked up over there um, and my pants organized all in there just take that out all my little bits are in here I don't think I showed these drawers I bought a couple of these in the deals pound shop in town here I have my super glues uh, normal glue just little bits like pins that's in here oh this is just a little box of like odd metal parts so like, all these little odd scraps you find that you might use for something uh, just some spare blades, not on that one. I'm pretty sure these are all full. Here I have, oh, this is a mixed box, some batteries. Uh, a scaven staff. A dwarf miner. Oh, so this is pretty much a box of bits in there. Uh, this little box, this is a cool little box, I'll come back to that. Uh, what's in here? Bases. Nothing. Uh, what's, oh, this is the bag, the eBay loop bag I got. It was all zombie arms. I think I just randomly threw that in there. What's in here? Oh, they're all parts for the giant for my little pit abomination conversion. This one. So, uh, but this little box. Let's get all these out of here. This is for my giant rats for Skaven. Um, any little mice that you get with Skaven. Uh, I try to keep them instead of putting them on bases. Because these are like, to buy giant rats is like really expensive and it's kind of hardly worth it really. So try to keep these like little tiny mice. You can use these for like rat swarms. These like these are a little bit small for uh, giant rats, but these ones here are pretty much big enough. But if I mix them up a little bit on the bases, it could work. I like this guy with the two heads. If I can turn them over without getting my fingers in the way. Yeah, he's pretty cool. 
So I've been building these up over the last couple of uh, last few months. Hopefully I can get like at least one unit out of that. So um, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of my Skaven Blight Scramblers work so far. Uh, the hobby cleanup, my hobby desk cleanup. It needed to be decluttered uh, completely. Um, I think up on these empty spaces up here, I think I'll just put some models. Um, like, let's see. Here's uh, a Slaughter Priest that he got free White Dwarf. Yeah, he fits up there, no problem. So it should be pretty cool up there. I put like all my Blood Bowl teams up along there. It'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Um, subscribe, like, and everything if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And make sure to leave a comment. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.